Hi everyone, welcome to Bay Sunny. I'm your host Frank Malico. A bit of Broadway out of the gate today. A show that has been showered with Tonys and made over a, oh about a hundred million on Broadway. It's the smash sensation Disney's Newsies, and it just opened at the Orpheum Theater this week. Tells the tale of a charismatic newsboy, Jack Kelly, who leads a ragtag bunch of teens in the turn of the century streets of New York as they battle publishing titans over wages. And we are delighted to have two of the stars, Dan DeLuca, who plays Jack Kelly, and Stephanie Stiles, who plays Catherine, his love interest this morning. Good morning, guys. Hi, thanks for having Good me. Good morning. Good morning. on board. Well, you just opened this week. How is San Francisco? It's been amazing. The audiences have been fantastic, and we're just so excited to be here. Yeah, generous city. Love it. All right. Well, uh, give us a, I kind of gave a synopsis, but uh, tell us kind of what the story's about. It is, um, it's, it's a true story, actually. It's based on the Newsboy strike of 1899. And um, it's about uh, how Joseph Pulitzer raised the price of papers at the Newsboy's expense, who were orphans living on the street. And we pretty much rally together and say, this is not right, and we stand up for ourselves. And, and you're kind of the ringleader, right? You're, yeah, you're I'm, the in news, you're I'm in charge. You're the newsboy, Jack Kelly. Tell yeah. us about your part. Um, he's like the charismatic leader. He's the ladies' man. He's a, he's a big dreamer. Um, He's the ultimate uh, Disney underdog role. Um, he's got, you know, he's got everything going for him, and uh, he's got this lovely interest, this reporter who uh, comes into the scene and um, reports about the strike. All right, enter yes. Catherine, stage yep. left. Catherine, and she's new to the story. She wasn't in the original 1992 film. She's an amalgamation of the newspaper reporter and Jack's love interest, and so she not only becomes passionate about the strike, but the leader himself. It's Disney, and you guys, that's your generation, right? Oh, yeah. Kind of growing up we as a kid in the early 90s and such? Huge Disney fans. I mean, some of your biggest Disney fans ever, so getting to that's do true. this show is a dream. And I think this show is really has that D Disney magic in a different way. It's this true story, and I think all Disney characters have this passion and they radiate hope and I think you really find that in these two Absolutely. Characters. We got a clip from Newsies. Let's take a look. It's at the Orpheum. Here's a clip. This change coming once and for all You make stuff for unpaid and man You is major news Tomorrow they'll see what we are And sure as a star We ain't come this far Somebody loses the blonde hair in there, huh? A little I bit. Do, Come I on, know. you got this beautiful blonde hair, and they they change it. I know. Huh? I'm brunette with some. I have some great power bangs in uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> well, high energy show, right? You guys must be exhausted by yeah. the, by the end, huh? A lot of I dancing. I burn 906 calories every time I do it. What do you got? A little uh, Fitbit, Fitbit on? Of course yeah. you do. <laughs> of course you do. And by the way, I, I guess in the first act, you're only off for like four minutes, yeah, so you four, just five minutes. Go, Actually, go, go. during her song, she has this wonderful uh, patter song. Um, and that's my only break off stage in Act One. Well, so. both of you are early 20s. This is kind of your big part. And you found out you were still at the University of Michigan. Got to call it a Panera and say, I, I got what? I was. I was flying up my whole last month of school to audition for the show. And I was in a Panera studying for a final when I got the call that I got the job. And I started bawling. And then I had to go take the test. But I think it all turned out well. We're good. I graduated. But it was it was a dream come true <laughs> for your, both of us. And your major at Michigan was? Musical theater. Well, it's working. <laughs> Yeah. It's working. Um, great show for kids, right? I mean, if you want something for the whole family, it's Disney for starters. Yeah. But this really, really hits home for families. It is. Right? Yeah, the kids will love it because it's just it's high energy. It's funny. They'll love all the characters. But it's also, I mean, it's great for the entire family, grandparents. It's a, it's a, you know, lots of historical references. I even go over my head sometimes. Like I don't know what we're talking about, but that's okay. And it's even great for a date night too. It's really romantic and yeah. there's all these great moments. So it really does have something. Like everybody's on their feet at the end. It's really cool. It's and, and different than really the movie, I guess a little bit. Uh, more songs. Uh, you're obviously new and different. Christian yeah. Bale played your part, right? Yeah, Christian Bale played uh, the first Jack Kelly ever. Um, yeah, it was just it wasn't that big of a success when it first came out. A lot of not a, a lot. A lot of people knew about it, but um, they made lots of changes. Harvey Firestein wrote the book. Alan Menken wrote the music, which people know is the man who wrote Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, 
Little Mermaid, all these things. Eight so. Oscars, by the way. That's Eight not Oscars. so bad. And yeah. Harvey Firestein, who is just terrific. Yeah. Uh, Writing Incredible. the book, and, and you guys got to kind of break bread with him and kind of work it out yeah, a little bit. We did. Yeah, Harvey's yeah. great. Jack Feldman wrote the lyrics. Who wrote uh, Barry Manilow's Copacabana? Like, oh, there you go. just like just the, all these it's fantastic all people. Team. It's a recipe for success. Well, it's at the Orpheum, and it plays through March the 15th. Great to have you in, guys. All the best. Welcome to San so Francisco. Nice to meet you. So great to meet you as well. If you'd like ticket information for Newsies, log on to shnsf.com. Shnsf.com. Up next, our political expert. Melissa Griffin Kane sits down with Assemblyman David Chu. Back right after the break. Stay there. All right. Thank you, guys.